Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Transfer Express webinar. Happy 2021, everybody. I don't know about you, but I'm going to pretend that 2020 didn't happen. <laughs> We're going to focus on 2021 and all of the good things that are going to happen in 2021. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> we're going to focus on all the good things in 2021, and we're going to move forward, right? That's the goal. Okay, looks like we got everybody pouring in here. So welcome, everybody. Hello. Welcome, everybody, to today's Transfer Express webinar, What's New in 2021? Today's a good day. Today's a big day. This is the most fun webinar that I get to do with you guys every year. If you have joined me before, uh, welcome back. If you have not, my name is Andy Curtis. I am the Senior Manager of Customer Service, Graphic Design, and whatever else has been put on my plate today here at Transfer Express. And I, uh, I have been joining you guys for these webinars for many years now. I'm not, I'm not even sure how many years. Um, and the What's New webinar every January is always the most fun webinar. It's always the most fun because I have so much great news and so much information to give you guys about all the fun things, all the new things that are happening in 2021. So this is always my favorite topic. I always love this webinar. And let me tell you, Transfer Express is not disappointing this year. We are bringing so much new stuff to you guys. There's going to be so much in this webinar. It is not even funny. Um, so, uh, as always, this webinar is being recorded. Once we are finished, uh, it will go up on the website under transferexpress.com backslash webinars. So, uh, if you miss anything, uh, you'll be able to see it there. Now, if you are a regular, uh, viewer of our webinars and you're with me live every month and you know that we've had some, uh, We've had some audio issues last month and the month before, but we might, I think we might have fixed it. I think we might be good now. So if the audio does do something silly, like bites the dust and you guys uh, aren't able to hear me, just be aware that we are working on the issue and the recording of the webinar will still have all the audio. So if something happens and the audio goes out, keep in mind, you'll still be able to view the recording. Um, It'll go up on the uh, on the uh, website here in the next day or two, uh, again, under transferexpress.com backslash webinars. <clears throat> and as always, if you have questions as we go today, please feel free to pop them into the chat box there that everybody has found. Uh, I will do my best to answer your questions, but uh, it looks like we're going to have a whole lot of you guys today. This is always one of the biggest webinars that we do every every year. So um, forgive me if I miss your question or if there's so many things pouring into the chat box that I miss it. I do have a helper behind the curtain who is going to be watching the chat box for me and helping to answer those questions. Um, so uh, if I miss something, he's going to get me. Um, now, uh, with all of that being said, uh, we are going to cover a whole bunch of information today. Uh, we're going to talk about all the new stuff that's happening in 2021, and that's going to include some product stuff and some website stuff and some improvements to TransferExpress.com and all sorts of things. Um, so we're going to get through this information in a timely fashion. I know we all have places to be and things to do, so I don't want to keep everybody forever. Um, so without further ado, let's talk about what's new in 2021 from Transfer Express. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, Nancy Jean Kramer gets the first question. <laughs> Fun question. Why did you change the name from Litho? So uh, before I even talk about what's on the slide here, that's a great question, Nancy. I appreciate that. We changed the name of the product. Uh, the product previously had been called Stretch Litho, and we've changed it to Ultra Color Soft. Uh, the reason for that, Nancy, is because we uh, the product has evolved since it was first released. Uh, when we first released Stretch Litho, it was sort of the first incarnation of that product, and we continued to improve upon it and improve upon it and improve upon it. And uh, after some changes to the adhesive and to the carrier and some changes to the process, we sort of realized that uh, the, pro the product had evolved, <laughs> sort of like a living creature. So uh, it really, the name change happened just because the product evolved over time. Plus, uh, 
we realized as we were coming out with more products and more services that we were able to sort of uh, take the same process we were using for Stretch Litho and apply that process to some other new products. And we wanted to use a word to make that whole line of products uh, together. So that's where Ultra Color came into play. So we renamed the product Ultra Color Soft so that it would be part of that family and everyone would understand these products are all related. So. Good question, Nancy. Good, good, thorough question right off the bat. Okay, so anyway, let's get into what's new for 2021. So first off, marketing kits and success kits. So uh, for those of you who buy our marketing kits and buy our success kits, there are some years where we don't do a whole lot of new things to the marketing kits. And there are some years where we do do a bunch of new things to the marketing kits. So if you're one of those customers that doesn't buy a marketing kit every year, just on the years where things change, this is a good year to buy a marketing kit, okay? So uh, the marketing kit this year, here are the changes that have happened. Number one, uh, we have gotten rid of the window clings that we used to do in the marketing kits. And instead of a window cling, it's a window decal. Uh, so it's a more permanent sticker. But you know what? The, the fact that it's a window decal means it's brighter and more vibrant. Uh, so if you put if you would usually put that uh, in the, your car window or your shop window, it's going to be a little more bright and vibrant than the ones in the past. So uh, a sticker instead of a cling, but it, it's a good change. Uh, in addition to that, the application chart is no longer a wall graphic that will stick to your wall. It's now a heavy cardstock printed chart. Um, so uh, the good news there is that it'll stay nice because it's nice heavy stock. Uh, if you want to pin it to your wall, you can, of course, always do that. Some sticky tack or some contact strips or something like that, or just, you know, thumbtack. But uh, the point is, it's a nice heavy stock, so it'll stay nice and it won't uh, uh, it won't um, uh, warp or uh, fade or anything like that. So that's a good thing. And uh, you'll notice that the success kit, uh, which uh, it, for those of you who aren't familiar, the success kit is the contents of both of these kits you see on my screen together. So the stuff on the left hand side is the marketing kit. The stuff on the right hand side is the display kit. And then the success kit is all of these things together. Um, so you'll notice that this year our display kit uh, has changed just a tad. Uh, the last couple of years, the display kit has had three posters. This year we did a little different. We only did two posters. We include a mouse pad, a blank mouse pad in with the display kit uh, and also part of the success kit. And the reason for this is uh, if you want to decorate that mouse pad and, and you know, use it as a mouse pad, you certainly could. But what we're doing here at Transfer Express, and we'll talk about this more a couple slides later, um, we are selling mouse pads for you guys to use as a tool during your garment application process. Uh, as the garment industry continues to evolve and we continue to have newer, cooler garments out there, there are garments with seams and buttons and zippers and things. And uh, the uh, mouse pads are a phenomenal tool to overcome uh, and get above those obstacles. So we are including a mouse pad in the display kit and the success kit now. Uh, because uh, it's a great tool for application. Uh, so Frenchie's asking a great question here. I'm new to this. Should I purchase both kits? Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I suggest you do. Um, both kits are super duper useful, but as you can see from this information here, uh, you can get both kits together. Uh, so again, the marketing kit on the left, the display kit on the right, you can get them together as the success kit. And I've got a coupon code for you. Okay, so everybody grab something to write with, grab a piece of paper and write it down. If you want a marketing kit or a success kit this year, I have promo codes. <laughs> so uh, these promo codes are going to be good for January 2021. So this month, you've got uh, you still got a couple weeks here. So they're going to be good for a couple weeks uh, to use these promo codes. You have to order online. The promo codes will not work if you order over the phone. The customer service reps cannot apply the promo codes over the phone. They must be ordered online. So if you don't want the whole thing, if you just want the marketing kit that's on the left-hand side there, and, and frankly, the marketing kit is a great tool. Uh, if you're brand new and you don't want to spend the money on the whole success kit, the marketing kit is a phenomenal tool by itself. Uh, it's normally $49, but you can get it for $35 plus shipping. 
and that promo code is TKIT35. TKIT35. If you do want to get the whole thing, the marketing kit and the display kit together as one big package, that's called the success kit. That's normally $55. And instead, or I'm sorry, it's normally $65 and you can get it for $55 using the uh, promo code TKIT55, TKIT55. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give everyone just a hot second here to write those down in case you do want these. Um, <clears throat> So uh, again, uh, the marketing kit, if you're buying the marketing kit by itself, that's T-Kit 35. If you're buying the whole thing, both these kits together, that's the success kit and that's T-Kit 55, okay? So uh, again, fantastic tools. If you're brand new to us, these are a great way to start. Even if you just start with the marketing kit on the left by itself and you don't get the whole thing, um, the personalized idea books are a phenomenal tool for you to have in your shop for those customers that walk in and have an idea of what they want but aren't totally sure. We've got your back with enough uh, graphic design and enough artwork in there to uh, make anybody happy. Um, the buyer's guide, the price guide, those are phenomenal tools. Big shout out to our marketing department. We revamped the buying guide and the price guide this year and they look so cool. They look so good. Um, uh, the color selector is, a, if you don't have a color selector, frankly, if you want my honest opinion here, folks, you can quote me on this. Uh, if you don't have a color selector already, it is worth buying the marketing kit almost for the color selector alone because the color selector is all of our stock colors actually printed, not some kind of goofy digital representation. It is an honest to gosh printed sample of every color we have. So the color selector alone is worth having the marketing kit for, in my opinion. But um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the idea book, because I saw somebody pop in there that uh, they weren't familiar with the idea book. Um, the idea book is a catalog full of pre-made clip arts and layouts. So uh, if you've got a customer that walks into your shop and says, hey, I need shirts for a baseball team. It's a tiny little baseball team and they don't really have a logo. They just want something simple. You flip the catalog open to the baseball section. You point at the baseball design to go, okay, well, which one of these do you want to go with? And we've got simple stuff. We've got crazy stuff in there. It's all broken up by sports and by activities and stuff. Um, they pick out a design and then you simply give us a call and say, hey, Andy, I want this layout and I want this many pieces and I want this color and wham, bam, done. We send you screen printed transfers. So uh, definitely, definitely a beautiful thing. So that catalog uh, is again, super duper useful. Now, if, if, your custom, if your customers are generally people who bring you artwork and you don't need any kind of extra stock artwork, then okay, maybe the idea book isn't the most useful tool for you, but the rest of the things in the marketing kit are super duper useful. Um, definitely, like I said, the, the color selector alone, the price guide, the buyer's guide, and uh, you'll notice that in the display kit, if you buy the display kit or the uh, whole thing, both of these kits together as the success kit, in the display kit, you get 10 black and white catalogs. These are great because they don't say Transfer Express on them. There's the big, you can kind of see it in this photograph here. There's a big open space on the top left of those catalogs, big white space. You can slap your sticker with your company name on that catalog and hand them out to your customers. It's a marketing tool for you. There's no reference to Transfer Express in those catalogs. It doesn't mention us at all. So you can pass those things out to schools, restaurants, churches. Churches love these catalogs. Churches, every church needs shirts, right? For vacation Bible school and for uh, Bible study and all that kind of stuff. Or high schools, all that kind of stuff. So those, those 10 black and white idea books are super duper useful. Again, totally by themselves, even without the poster and all the extra accoutrement there. But So uh, some positive changes to our marketing kit and the success kit. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't do the marketing kits every year, maybe you've been with us for a long time and you don't need all those tools anymore. Maybe every year you just look for the sample pack. Uh, our sample pack has changed a little bit this year and we update it every year. Uh, the sample pack will include the buying guide, the price guide, and the idea book. 
Um, and then the sample pack will have uh, your standard samples of all of the popular transfer types. So goof proof, elasti prints, ultra color soft, hot split retro, glow in the dark, uh, puff, all that kind of stuff. So the sample packs have been updated. And uh, when you order the sample pack um, or, or ask for the sample pack, because the sample pack is free, uh, when you ask for the sample pack, uh, you'll get the sheet that you see pictured on the right-hand side of my screen here. That sheet shows you a picture of each of the samples that are in the pack um, and tells you how to apply each one. So it's very easy to follow the instructions and stuff. And plus, you get that great uh, buyer's guide and the price guide, which is super-duper useful, too. So that's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> Uh, and yeah, so a uh, good question here. Samples do come with the marketing kit as well, yes. So if you buy the marketing kit or the success, ooh, excuse me, the success kit, you'll get a whole bunch of samples with those as well. Uh, but this is the sample pack for the folks that just want the free samples. And, I, and uh, just to put it out there, these free samples, when you get these sample packs, these are all small four by four samples. These aren't full size. When you purchase the marketing kit we just talked about, you get big 11 by 11 full size samples. So big stuff. And uh, again, the sample pack here is free. Uh, so if you ordered from us in uh, 2020, uh, if you did business with us, odds are very good that you're going to get a sample pack in the mail, as a matter of fact. Um, so if you're new to us and you've never ordered from us at all, then yeah, you need to pop onto our website and sign up for an account, which is free, and you can get a sample pack and some uh, catalog stuff that way, as a matter of fact. Okay, so this is another uh, big change, and I know you guys can't see this picture super duper well here on the slide, um, but uh, I just want to explain it to you because it's going to be in your buyer's guide. So what we've done um, now, if you're an old pro, then this might not be this might not be the be all end all for you. But if you're new, this is a fantastic tool that comes to you totally free in your buyer's guide. So that's one of the uh, one of the the booklets that comes with our info. Um, this is a comparison chart that actually shows you, and then, like I said, I know it's kind of hard to see here on the screen. It shows you all of our products. It shows you goof proof and elasti print and hot split and foil and pearl and, and ultra color soft. But then it breaks down all of the information you could possibly want in this chart. It tells you what to apply on, how to apply it, what it's used for, how soft is it, uh, what is the sheet size of the paper that it's printed on? This is a fantastic tool. This is a great thing to have. Now, if you want just this comparison chart, you can get it on our website. It is downloadable on our website. Uh, or like I said, it's going to be in the buyer's guide that comes to you guys with your uh, 2021 information. Um, and again, if you haven't ordered from us and you're new, and you start your account and request a sample today, uh, the buyer's guide will come with those samples. So the buyer's guide is very, very, very easy to get a hold of. Um, and this is page four and page five of your buyer's guide if you've already gotten one, because uh, I know a bunch of you guys have already gotten your uh, new 2021 stuff. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, Elvin has a good question here. Is there only one sheet size for Plastisol? Uh, so yes, Elvin, uh, that is the case. All of our Plastisol products, and actually, actually, Elvin, you're setting me up for a perfect uh, another change this year. Um, all of our old hat veterans who are with me today will remember that uh, our paper size for the Plastisol products used to be 11 and a quarter by 14, but starting this year, it's 11 and a half by 14, actually. So uh, 11 and a half by 14 for all of the uh, all the Plastisol products starting this year. So that's pretty cool. But I'm jumping the gun there. So let's keep going through the slides. <laughs> so uh, new layouts and new clip art. Uh, this is always a big deal every year. You guys know that we want to keep you guys fresh. And if you rely on us for artwork, we definitely want to be able to send you all the new artwork and all the new stuff every year. Um, Claudia, I see your question there. Can you send transfer to Mexico? I apologize, Claudia. At this time, Transfer Express does not do business internationally, no. Uh, with Canada, yes, we do do business with Canada, but uh, we don't do business uh, outside of Canada and the United States at this time. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, so new layouts and new clip art for 2021. Uh, our marketing team has done a phenomenal job 
of putting out new artwork on a regular basis. So uh, what we do, if you're new to this, what we do every year is we take all of the artwork that was in the catalog from the year before, and we take out the artwork that wasn't selling, that people didn't like, that wasn't popular. We take out all that stuff and put in new stuff in its place. Now, all of the artwork, even the stuff that didn't sell, is still on our website. So it's not like the artwork disappears and we delete it forever or anything. Um, we just take it out of the printed catalog. Everything is still online, though. So this year, we've added 210 new layouts to the catalog, hundreds of new clip arts, hundreds and hundreds of new clip arts. There's a, a whole boatload of it. And then the other thing that's that's really cool this year is we've added full color artwork to our catalog. So instead of just being uh, spot color clip art for screen print, we've actually added a bunch of full color clip art for our digital processes. So a uh, real quick lesson for everybody. Um, if you are familiar with our system and you've used it before, uh, the layouts, uh, the layouts that start with a letter Q. So at the top of my right hand side here, you'll see that uh, Compton's uh, layout there. That layout is QLO68. If uh, that layout starts with a letter Q, then that's two dimensional artwork that's meant for the screen printing process. It can be full color too, but it's, it's two dimensional spot color meant for screen printing. If the layout starts with 3D, like the uh, adventure one right next to it there, that's layout 3D 460. When you see a layout that starts with 3D, that means that it's full color only. We can't do that in our Plastisol spot color transfers. Okay, so uh, full color artwork starts with a 3D. Spot color layouts uh, start with a letter Q. Now for our clip arts on the bottom half side here, on the bottom side, you see a little clip art of a little reindeer and then a clip art of some really neat uh, amethysts there. Um, the reindeer clip art starts with an X, X5A-86. That clip art is made for the two dimensional uh, screen print spot color process to where the amethyst clip art there, obviously with all those colors going on, that clip art is W12C-6. So when a clip art starts with a W, that means it's a full color clip art. When a clip art st starts with an X, that means it's a screen print spot color clip art. So just to be clear with everybody. Um, and I saw a... Uh, question there. Um, the full color clip arts cannot be ungrouped and taken apart. No, the full color clip arts are one solid piece. The full color layouts can all be customized uh, with the text, but you can't take the artwork apart. No. All right, guys, I need everybody to sit down for this. Are you sitting? Is everybody sitting? So this is a big deal. This is a big deal. We're going to announce this slowly. You ready for this? After I, I've been with the company for 19 years, I've been doing this a long time, and goof proof has always been our most popular transfer type. Goof proof has always been the most popular. Everybody loves goof proof because it's so easy to use, it's so cost effective, it's easy and fast to apply. And this year, this year, are you ready? This year, we made improvements to goof proof. So I know I'm making a big deal of it, but it is a big deal. Um, so this year we've uh, made some changes to Goof Proof and Goof Proof is, drum roll please, Goof Proof is now softer. The Goof Proof product will now be softer than before. Now we're not talking super duper crazy different. We're talking um, like if you hold a piece of the old Goof Proof and a piece of the new Goof Proof and uh, sort of compare them, you will totally feel a difference. Not huge, but it's it's there. It's definitely softer this year. The, the thing that I am super excited about is actually uh, the more stretch and rebound. So we've made some changes to the, uh, some small changes to the adhesive that the Goof Proof uses. And that change to the adhesive is allowing the product to have just a tiny bit of stretch and rebound. Now, be aware that the Goof Proof still isn't meant to go on stretchy garments. So you can't put Goof Proof on a stretchy piece of polyester necessarily. If you do put it on a garment that has a little bit of stretch though, it shouldn't crack apart nearly like it used to. It still will crack a little bit if you stretch it too much, but it shouldn't be nearly as dramatic as it used to be. Um, and uh, if you have had Goof Proof in the past and maybe you didn't like it for whatever reason, try it again. Uh, if, if you had Goof Proof and you were like, ah, I don't know, I'm not feeling this, get a sample, 
try the goof proof again because it is definitely worth the time to see the difference in it now and this is the big deal so i i, I made a big deal about the soft hand and about the stretch but this is really the, the selling point so up until this year, goof proof had to be pressed at 365 or 340 degrees. And that's the painful part is for the people that go, gosh, I just need it to be a little colder than that. You couldn't. Starting this year, you can. You can apply goof proof at 325 degrees for 10 to 12 seconds. Still a hot peel, still medium firm pressure. But starting this year, the goof proof can be done at 325 for 10 to 12 seconds. Now, so far, my experience, the 325 for 10 seconds has been totally fine. I don't see it. I haven't had a reason to go all the way up to 12 seconds. And remember that if you have an off-brand press, something maybe you've gotten off of Amazon or eBay, then you want to add another five degrees to that. So you'd want to go 330 as opposed to 325. But still very cool this is so neat that after all these years we were able to make these really solid improvements to groove proof um and then on top of that like i said being softer and having more stretch and rebound this is a an absolute absolute win for those of you guys who uh, like goof proof and use goof proof so uh, definitely a good things and like i said if you haven't if you used goof proof in the past and you haven't used it for a while maybe you, you didn't like the texture of it or something get a sample try it again you can ask for a free sample it's not a problem uh, we'd love for you to try it again and you'll uh, and you'll like it and James is correct. Uh, 10 degrees, 10 degrees it works too, James. Yeah, I, I, five to 10 degrees when you have an off brand press. Uh, 10 degrees certainly doesn't hurt anything for sure. Uh, so Freddie's asking a good question. I know it depends on the shirt, but have you tested the goof proof uh, at 325 on the tri blends? So honestly, Freddie, I have not, no. Um, I, uh, I would be willing to bet you a nickel that it will probably work. I don't think that 325 on a tri-blend is a deal breaker, but my advice, Freddie, would be to take one of the tri-blends that you use and just hit it at 325, and I bet you a nickel it'll turn out okay. All right, so let's continue talking about new products, okay? So this is a big deal. This is a big deal, too. So uh, two new products this year, and they sound very similar. I'll explain. Ultra Color Stretch and Ultra Color Stretch with Blocker. So now, so everybody understands, I want to make sure that we're all clear. Uh, earlier in the webinar, we were talking about Ultra Color Soft. So for those of you who haven't played with the Ultra Color Soft yet, that product's been out for a little while now. Ultra Color Soft is this concept where we take a bed of white plastisol screen print and then we print full color artwork on that white screen printing. So you get the feel of screen printing, but you get the full color artwork of digital, digital art. So we took that same concept with Ultra Color Stretch instead of printing the full color artwork onto a bed of normal Plastisol ink, we print that full color artwork onto a bed of AquaTrue water-based ink. Okay, this is a big deal because the AquaTrue is so much softer and so much stretchier than the Plastisol stuff. So this ultra color stretch is that concept where we take the bed of white uh, AquaTrue water-based ink and we print full color artwork on top of it. So you get the benefits of full color artwork, but it has a great stretch and it is super duper soft. So ultra color stretch is going to be an absolute game changer. Uh, for those of you who liked the ultra color soft and the ultra color soft is not going away. For those of you who like ultra color soft, but you wished it was stretchy or you wished it was a little softer, the ultra color stretch is going to be the product that you enjoy the most. Okay, and on top of that, Ultra Color Stretch with Blocker is that same concept, but we add a blocker chemical layer to the product that prevents bleeding uh, from garments that tend to bleed, dye migration. So uh, a, a, a sublimated garment, for example, if you go get a sublimated jersey, since those are so popular right now and you see so many of those, um, the sublimated jerseys, uh, if you use the Ultra Color Stretch with blocker, they won't bleed. So that is that is a 
big, 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 big plus. That's one of those things that a lot of people have asked for. Uh, maybe not the be all end all, but for those of you who have tried to decorate uh, a, a sublimated garment uh, using a very soft product, uh, you know the challenge there. So the ultra color stretch with blocker is gonna be super duper useful there. So to break this down for everybody in a way that might be a little bit easier to understand, the product that we already have out that's not new, the Ultra Color Soft, that's the product you use for cotton, polyester, and 50-50 blends. If you have spandex, lycra, or nylon, you use Ultra Color Stretch, okay? Or if you have a cotton, poly, or blend that uh, you just wanna use a softer product for, the Ultra Color uh, Stretch will go on all of that stuff. And then the Ultra Color Stretch with Blocker, is for all of that stuff above, but it also works on sublimated items, items that do tend to have a bleed to it. So uh, I know that there's been a couple questions here, like how long do these products last? Just like all of our products, they last the life of the garment. They have been uh, washed and dried uh, for 50 cycles and they do last the life of the garment. Uh, so that is a beautiful thing. Um, there is a small clear edge uh, a small clear outline around these products. Uh, so uh, just like the Ultra Color Soft, okay? Um, uh, and then uh, the other question I think somebody asked about quantities, uh, the minimum quantity for this product will be 20 pieces. Uh, so that is one of the benefits of the Ultra Color Soft is that you can order five pieces of the Ultra Color Soft. Uh, but with the ultra color stretch, it is a minimum of 20. So a little bit higher minimum. Um, and the, the product is a little bit more of a premium product. So the ultra color stretch will be a little bit more expensive. That's sort of the nature of that water-based screen printing part of it, but it is definitely worth it. So um, if you're interested in a sample of ultra color stretch, you can request one and we'd be happy to get it to you. All right, and another new product. Oh my gosh, Andy's lost his mind. Look at all of these new products. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> so another new product this year, another new product, Reflective. We have released Reflective. So uh, we had a Reflective product once upon a time. If you're an old veteran, you've been with us for um, as long as I've been here, then you know that we have had a Reflective product years ago. Unfortunately, the Reflective product that we used to have, the supply chain became a problem and we had to discontinue that product. Uh, in recent times, we have found a reliable supplier and we have found ways to improve upon our old Reflective product. And we are thrilled, thrilled to release to you a new Reflective product. Um, so a couple little details here. The new Reflective product is gonna be uh, 11 and a half by 18 sheets. OK, and the concept here, just so we're on the same page, this might be a little bit much to understand, but I'm going to try to get it for everybody here. The way this reflective product works is we take a, a sheet of material that has a combination of silver ink and microscopic glass beads. And I, I almost shouldn't call them glass beads because it gives you the wrong idea. But when I when I tell you they're microscopic, I mean, like. They're, they're microscopic. You can't actually see the glass beads, but these tiny, tiny glass beads are mixed in with this very, very bright silver ink. And the combination of the chemicals in the ink plus the glass beads makes it reflective. Uh, so what we do is we print adhesive onto the back of this, and that's what uh, that's what the reflective product is. Now, what's great, one of the things that's nice about this, if you used our reflective product in the past, is the screen printing that we're using with the reflective product is now our water-based product. So in the past, we used to use Goof Proof, actually, to print behind the reflective. And it was reflective, but it was kind of thick. This new reflective product with the water base behind it is a whole different story. It is soft. Uh, so definitely a great thing here. Um, and again, uh, it is new, so it's just the one color. It's only reflective silver at this point. Um, Alan's asking a fantastic question, actually, Alan. Thank you for asking this. So some of you guys might be uh, aware that we already sell some reflective words like fire and EMS, um, and I believe police. We have a couple reflective words that we sell packs of. So the answer to your question, Alan, is no, this is different. 
those packs of reflective words that we had sold in the past were uh, an actual cut vinyl product. This is a screen print product. So this is a little bit different. Um, the luminance and the candelas uh, that this puts off is just a smidge different. Um, so uh, if you need these for actual safety purposes, then you're gonna wanna compare the stats, uh, the difference uh, between the two products. Um, Leandra is asking about colors. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we would hope that uh, we would hope that we can eventually offer colors here, but at this time, we're not. At this time, reflective is just silver, and the reflective cannot be combined with anything else. The reflective transfers are just reflective by themselves. So if you want a product that's got uh, some goof-proof white and some reflective, you can't combine those. You have to order two separate transfers and press them together. Uh, they can't come together on the same piece. So they're two separate products. Uh, and yes, Cindy, you can request a sample of uh, reflective. Actually, there will be a whole bunch of reflective stuff in the marketing kits and the sample packs and stuff. So um, if you order from us, you should have some reflective coming to you. So good things with the reflective. And again, uh, this is one of those situations, if you know how we function here at Transfer Express, we roll with the punches. If you guys are ordering the reflective and you like the reflective and you wish that we did something different with it, if you wish that we had a color of reflective or something to that effect, you can always email us and make those suggestions. And based on your suggestions, we continue to evolve our products. So that's a beautiful thing. Okay, so I mentioned this earlier, but I want to put it out there again. We are selling mouse pads at Transfer Express. Now, I, you could use these as actual mouse pads. You can decorate them and put your mouse on them, but that's not the idea here. Um, and please, by all means, you're welcome to do that. But the reason we're selling the mouse pads is because they are a fantastic accessory to have when you are heat printing, okay? If if this was a conversation that we were all having 15 years ago, it would have been different. Back then, it wasn't a real big deal to find good garments that were flat, and there weren't a lot of uh, there weren't a lot of obstacles. There weren't a lot of seams or buttons or zippers all over the place. Today is a whole different day, man. I, I don't know if if you guys have ever gotten into uh, my favorite example is volleyball jerseys. Volleyball jerseys are the coolest looking jerseys out there in the sports industry, but my gosh, there are seams and piping and just elaborate stuff all over volleyball jerseys. And same thing with soccer, I think, too. But what happens is those seams and the piping and all that extra stuff, it creates an uneven surface. When you go to heat press that, the heat press doesn't, doesn't uh, flushly hit the garment because it's got all those seams and stuff in the way. So mouse pads are great because they are super duper cheap. Uh, you, you, you can buy, uh, you can buy mouse pads for super duper cheap and then you can chop these guys up and cut them up into the size that you need them to be. And then you put them up inside the garment to raise the surface area above the seams and above the piping and above the, the muff pocket of that hoodie and above the zipper of that uh, zip up that you're doing, that kind of thing. Um, and there's obviously there's there's other ways to raise surface areas too. There's a million and one tricks out there in the in the industry. So this is by no means the only way to do this. But um, the reason this is such a big deal is because a lot of those other ways to avoid obstacles are are cost costly, a little bit more expensive. A mouse pad is a super cheap way to do this. <laughs> Um, oh, and Tracy, very good point, Tracy. I didn't even think of that too. Masks, uh, mouse pads would be super, super uh, painless uh, to do with masks. Uh, actually, that's a very good point. Um, uh, you know what, Rosemary? I, I suppose you you could. I we we didn't. Uh, we're not selling them for that purpose. But by all means, if you want to buy one and give it a whirl, you're welcome to. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to use these mouse pads as mouse pads, you could. Uh, but again, the whole purpose we're selling them for is so you guys can use them as a uh, way to get above those seams. And they're three dollars a piece. Uh, so uh, they're on TransferExpress.com. So mouse pads. 
So this is a change this year too. Um, the application temperature for people who are looking for low application temperature products, we are thrilled that we've been able to make some changes to our low temperature products and they are all the same low temperature now. So if you have a polyester garment that is performance wear, whether it's brand name performance wear or not brand name performance wear, uh, we all know that performance wear scorches, right? You have to get under that 300 degree mark to be totally certain that the performance wear won't scorch. So we have uh, we have six different products that can all go under that 300 degree mark and uh, the 290 degrees uh, is the same for all of them. So instead of having to remember a whole bunch of different temperatures, all six of these products are the same low temperature. So that's fantastic. So those products are Elasti Prints, Ultra Color Soft, Ultra Color Stretch, Ultra Color Stretch with Blocker, Aqua True, and Reflective. So all of the low temperature products are all the same low temperature, which is 290 degrees. And now there are six of those those uh, different transfer types. Now, I do want to put it out there and uh, put it to everybody that if you're looking at these list of transfers and go, well, Andy, I don't know which one of those transfer types to use. Like, thank you for giving me that list, but I don't know which one to use. When you're at that point in the process and you're trying to decide what transfer type to use, give us a call and the customer service team would love to walk you through that. Uh, the way our customer service reps are trained is that you tell us what you're trying to accomplish, you tell us the garment, you show us the artwork, tell us about the artwork, and we'll tell you which transfer type to use, which one would be best. So don't be intimidated, don't be scared or freak out. Uh, we will absolutely walk you through that. Um, absolutely walk you through that. <clears throat> And you know what? I, I'm going to take a half a step backwards here because Kristen Hartgrove is asking a great question here. Wouldn't you still have to position the garment to keep the zipper off the platen? So Kristen's going back to the mouse pad discussion we were having here. Um, and this is a great question, Kristen. Uh, wouldn't, she's asking, wouldn't you still have to position the garment to keep the zipper off the platen? If you can, Kristen, you absolutely can do that. That probably is easiest. But depending on what you're trying to press and where you're trying to press it, and too, it can depend on what uh, size those hoodies are. If you're doing little kid zip ups, you can't necessarily get the zipper off the platen. So a lot of times, Kristen, what happens is you have no choice but to have that obstacle, whether it's a zipper or it's a button or it's a collar. Sometimes you have no choice and you have to have that obstacle on the platen with you. When that happens, that's when you want to raise the surface area using something firm. That's the big hitch here. You want to raise the surface area with something firm, not something soft like a pillow. Uh, so you want something firm like a mouse pad. Well, I hope that helps. All right, so let's continue on. <clears throat> now, uh, for those of you who ordered our CAD prints, Express prints in the past, our CAD prints, Express prints. We are making a change this year. So uh, last year in 2020, we had two different products. We had CAD prints, Express prints, and then we had CAD prints, Express Mat 250. Uh, we realized that these two products are very similar to one another, and there was really no reason for us to have both of them, to be totally honest. Uh, they were similar in price. They are similar in look and feel. Really, the difference is the Express prints were a little bit glossy, and the Express Matte 250 was matte, just as the name suggests. Uh, and most people are truthfully looking for matte products, not shiny products. So we've made the decision that this year we're discontinuing the product uh, that we were calling Express prints, uh, the glossier version, and we're going to keep the Express Matte 250 and just call that Express Prints. So that means that starting this year, our Express Print product will be the Express Matte 250. So it'll be matte, it'll be 250 degree application. So that means it's gonna be a cooler application and it's gonna be matte finish instead of shiny. So for those times when you need to do a CAD print because CAD prints are so cost effective, uh, you're going to be able to get this cost effective CAD print and it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be glossy like a sticker. It's going to be matte finish, much nicer to the touch, too. Actually, honestly, I, I think that Express Matte 250 feels so much nicer. Um, 
So that's the big change to the CAD prints this year. Keep in mind, we're still going to call it Express Prints. So the name is still going to be Express Prints, but it's just going to be the old Express Mat 250 material. So this is another example of you guys asked and we answered. <laughs> so uh, the proof process here at Transfer Express, if you've ordered a proof from us in the past, uh, you know that what we've done for many years now is we uh, produce your artwork and then we would embed your artwork into the website and you would have to go to a link to see the artwork and uh, then you would get a refund once you approved your artwork. So we're making a big change to proofs this year, a big change. Instead of us embedding your artwork into the website, we will actually email your artwork to you. It will be a PNG file. Uh, so it's not vector artwork. It's still bitmap. It's going to be a PNG file, but we're actually going to email your proof to you. It's going to look just like in the example you see on my screen here. The fee for a proof is going to be $20. But since we're sending that artwork to you, that $20 will not be refunded anymore. All right. So that's the big change this year. Proofs cost $20 and the $20 is non-refundable, but we will send you the actual PNG of the artwork. All right. Uh, so that's a, a real big deal. This is one of those things you guys have been asking for, and we are so thrilled to actually do this for you. Uh, and again, the proofs come with, uh, this is another change. If you've done proofs in the past, you know that we only offered you one free revision. Now we're offering you two free revisions. So we'll do your artwork up. We'll email the artwork to you, and then you can get two free revisions of any kind if you so desire. And then once you approve the artwork, we go ahead with the order. You just don't get that $20 refunded to you. So, uh, and that actually, for the record, that cost has gone down because in the past, the cost of the proof was $45. You did get the $45 refunded to you as long as you place the order. But if for whatever reason you didn't place the order, that cost was 45 bucks that came out of your pocket. So that's been reduced down to 20 now. And more importantly, you get an email with the PNG file. So this is a big deal. This is a great change. This is one of those things that you guys out there in Transferland were asking for us to make some adjustments to our proof process. So we are happy to have uh, done what, uh, what was asked of us. Okay, guys, this is another big change if you're an old veteran. If you're new to us, then this isn't really a big deal. <clears throat> but if you're a veteran of Transfer Express, this is a little bit of a change. So stick with me here on this one. We are adjusting our turnaround times. Uh, we made some changes uh, to our turnaround times due to COVID. Uh, for those of you who were with us at the beginning of 2020 when things got weird, <laughs> We uh, we had to make some changes to the uh, to our turnaround time timetable, but uh, now that we're getting our feet back under us, and 2021 is a new year, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, right? We're going to make some positive changes to our turnaround times. So here's the way this is going to work from now on, starting this year, all one color screen printed transfers, whether it's your artwork or our artwork. All one color screen printed transfers go on one day turnaround. So it's whether it's our easy print artwork or it's your custom artwork, one color transfers go on a one day schedule. Two color screen printed transfers go on a two day schedule. And then three or more colors go on a three day schedule. I see you guys have some questions about the proofs. I'll circle, circle back in just a second for everybody. Uh, but I just want to get through this slide here. So uh, again, the turnaround times, this is a change. So for those of you who are familiar with the process already, I want to make sure that you guys get this. And this is a good thing. This is a faster change. <laughs> um, so uh, and a good question here. Nancy Jean is asking, why is my artwork cost more than yours? Uh, your artwork costs more, Nancy, because we have to vectorize your artwork and we have to prepare your artwork for our process. The artwork that is in our catalog is already prepared for our process, so that's why it's cheaper. Uh, but so all one color screen printed orders, whether it's your artwork or artwork, all one color goes on one day. All two color, again, whether it's yours or ours, two colors goes in two days. And then three or more colors goes on three days. 
So big change. Uh, Carrie, Carrie, that's a great question. Unfortunately, our AZ facility, the Arizona facility, is no longer doing pickups. So I apologize. The a Arizona facility is no longer doing pickups, Carrie. Sorry about that. Uh, if you guys send the artwork vectorized, we certainly appreciate that, but that uh, that doesn't make it any cheaper. Unfortunately, what we've discovered in our business here is that even if you guys send us vectorized artwork, we still have to prepare it for our process. Uh, so we encourage you guys to send us whatever you have. You don't have to vectorize it. You can send us uh, bitmaps if you want, because even if you do send us a uh, even if you do send us a vectorized piece of artwork, we still have to prep it for our system. So uh, it, it doesn't make it any cheaper in that case. All right. So I saw a lot of you guys had questions about proof. So I want to circle back around and make sure that I uh, explain this well enough so everybody understands it. Um, so uh, the way the proof system works here going forward is the proof costs $20. We work your artwork up for you per your specifications, uh, whatever color placement, whatever sizing you've asked for. And then instead of years past where we would embed the artwork onto our website, which made it very difficult for you to show your customer the artwork, it made it near impossible actually. You really couldn't show your customer the artwork. Um, and uh, it was hard to see. It was very difficult to zoom in and to see the artwork clearly. We had a lot of people that didn't like that website because they couldn't clearly see their artwork. So what happens is we do up your artwork and then we actually email you a large PNG file. So it's easy to see everything. It's clear as crystal. Um, and uh, you can blow it up. You can zoom in, zoom out, and you can send it to your customer. Uh, so that's a, a beautiful thing as well. So. Um, it's definitely a positive for you. Uh, now, because we are sending you this artwork, uh, because we are sending you the actual PNG of the artwork, uh, the $20 is not refunded anymore since we're actually mailing the artwork out to you. But again, uh, you're getting two free revisions. So that's a beautiful thing as well. In the past, you got one free revision and that was it. Uh, but now you get two free revisions. Uh, so correct, Heather, if you had to do a third revision after that, you would have to pay another $20 to get a third revision. Okay, all right. Um, uh, and actually, Mike, uh, Mike Keith, if you look at the example on my screen, uh, you'll see that it doesn't have my logo on it. Uh, my slide does. Um, so don't misunderstand. Ha, the, sli uh, the slide here has the Transfer Express logo on it, but the actual proof there, if you look at the actual proof, um, there's information at the top that, that just has like uh, tells people to look at the sizing and look at the uh, color placement and that kind of thing. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't have the Transfer Express logo on it. Uh, it. There's no Transfer Express information on there or anything. It just it tells you like what uh, what to look at and it tells you what the colors are. Um, it uh, uh, lists a couple little tidbits of information, like an order number, that sort of thing, but it doesn't actually have the Transfer Express logo on there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and keep moving forward here. Uh, after the turnaround times, uh, the next change this year is larger sheet sizes. We talked about this at the very beginning. Uh, so the Plastisol screen printed transfers for many years were 11 and a quarter by 14 paper size. This year we have expanded it to 11 and a half by 14. So you get another quarter of an inch to work with. The AquaTrue screen printed transfers are on 12 by 19 paper. And then the Ultra Color and Reflective are both on 11 and a half by 18 size paper. Okay. So some changes to the paper sizes this year, all bigger though. So everything got bigger, nothing got smaller. So this is definitely a good thing. This is definitely a good thing. Uh, the big one was the Plastisol changing to 11 and a half by 14 instead of uh, 11 and a quarter by 14. All right, so this is also a big positive this year, guys. We have simplified the pricing grids. So for those of you who used to purchase uh, or have purchased our specialty products like Elasti Prints, Glow in the Dark, uh, the uh, foil, the glitter, the pearl, uh, we have uh, decreased the pricing here. In the past, there was one price grid for our standard products and then a second price grid for our specialty products that was a little bit more expensive. We have gotten rid of the specialty products price grid altogether and there is just one price grid for everything, whether it's goof proof or elasti print or pearl. 
no more uh, more expensive uh, no more more expensive price grid just because you're ordering the specialty products. Uh, so it still is divided between Easy Prints and Easy Prints Plus. And again, for those of you who are new, Easy Prints means our artwork. Easy Prints Plus means your artwork. Um, but now instead of there being different price grids for the Elasti Prints and the Glow in the Dark and the Pearl and the Puff, now it's just one set of price grid regardless. So that's uh, definitely a more simple thing and uh, a price uh, a lowering the price for all those specialty products. So that's that's a good thing as well. Um, the uh, normal fees haven't changed. Color changes, color matches, cut charges, rush fees, all that kind of stuff. And all that stuff has changed this year. So uh, now we are getting into a section of improvements that are other improvements that you folks have asked for. These are improvements that people uh, sent us over the last year, uh, issues with our website, things that they wanted to see change on our website. So on the left-hand side of the screen here, you see how our uh, color listing, the color palette uh, used to look at transferexpress.com if you ever had to look up our colors. It was sort of a it was sort of random, uh, random smattering of our colors like that. You had to hover over each one. Uh, it was sort of a pain in the butt. Uh, on the right-hand side, you see that we have made it easier. You guys wanted it to be a little bit more cohesive, a little bit easier to read. So we have broken up the colors by family, and we have listed them with their names on them. So it's much easier to see our colors if you got to pop onto our website and see our colors. Uh, a lot easier to read, a lot easier to figure out. So that's that's a nice thing, right? Our help center has changed too. Uh, the help center is one of those things that we, we want to put so much information on there for you guys that our help center sort of had turned into sort of a big beast. You see on the left hand side there, it was full of links. We tried to break them up into different categories, but there was so much information. We've simplified the help center. So if you use the help center in the past, but were sort of intimidated by how much stuff there was, I would definitely go back and check again. Uh, we have reorganized the help center. We've made it easier to understand and easier to read. You see, we've recategorized everything and uh, tried to make it a little bit more intuitive and easier to figure out. So that's that's definitely a good thing. Um, you know what? I, I see a couple of you asking about some improvements to EasyView. We're actually going to get there. So hang tight for a second. I promise we're getting to EasyView in a minute. Uh, the video portion of our website is sort of made to look a little bit more like YouTube now, uh, where you're going to have a big video player in the middle. You'll have a side scroll bar of related videos. Uh, we figure YouTube has figured it out, right? <laughs> they've made an interface that everybody likes, and uh, they've done their homework. So we're going to mimic YouTube, and we've changed the way the video portion of our site looks. Um, if you've never been there, please do uh, take just a hot minute and go check out our video section. Um, there are uh, new videos put out on a weekly basis here at Transfer Express, tons and tons of new videos. Uh, we do our best to give you guys all sorts of information and tools and stuff. Um, so uh, definitely check out uh, check out the video section if you haven't, especially now that it's easier to navigate and scroll. Uh, you might also have noticed that uh, we've made some changes to the main page at uh, transferexpress.com. If you hover over the words design center, it is now easier to find our fonts and clip art or uh, fonts and ink colors. So if you hover over the words design center, you also get the pop-up for fonts and ink colors. Those were two commonly searched things that we know a lot of you guys were out there having to search the website to find. So we've made them right boom at the top of the website there. You can't miss it. Um, that's definitely a good thing too. We've improved the fonts page. This was way past due. And uh, to those of you who asked about this, I am, I am in a full agreement with you. <laughs> On the left-hand side, you see what it used to look like. We listed our fonts individually. It was If you wanted to see the fonts, it was sort of hard to do. You had to scroll through page upon page and look at each one, and you couldn't see what all the font looked like. Well, we fixed it. On the right-hand side here, you see we have uh, turned that page alphabetically, and we're showing you the whole thing. And we've, of course, done the uh, old standby, the quick, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, so you can see the entire font. 
Uh, and then we've broken them up into categories too, if you wanna isolate them by block or by serif or by script. So the font page has been way improved and totally fixed uh, based on all the feedback you guys sent us. Again, truly, this is one of those things where you guys tell us what you want, we make the changes. So thank you to everybody who gave us feedback on that. Uh, can, yeah, I, I apologize, Paul. I know that some of these slides are a little hard to see, um, but uh, if you go visit the website, you can see it much more clearly. I'm sort of just giving you the overview here. Um, the other thing that has changed this year is we have updated all of the application videos. So uh, in the past, we had an application instruction site that uh, had a whole bunch of listing of a whole bunch of different videos. It was uh, sort of um, intimidating to try to navigate. Um, but uh, we've adjusted it. We've done uh, new videos for all the application stuff. Uh, we've updated and revamped, uh, added uh, videos to make sure there's a video for every single thing on that instructions page, easier access, easier to read. Um, so definitely another improvement there. Okay, all right. So I told you all we would talk about easy view. Let's talk about easy view. So there are some really cool changes coming to Easy View. They're not out yet. Uh, we are working on it, uh, but more to come. So uh, right now, if you want to upload artwork to us uh, to, to place an order, you can upload that artwork through our uploader or you could upload it through Easy View. And I know that a lot of you guys find it confusing, like, well, why should I do one over the other? What is the point? Why do you have these two different upload options? I don't understand. Or the scary part is some of you might not even know that there was two different ways to upload your artwork to us. There, there really shouldn't be, though. We should really make life easier for you guys. And what's going to happen is we are in the process of taking our uploader and combining it into Easy View. So there's going to be one place to go to, whether you're uploading artwork or uh, doing the artwork yourself right there on the page. There's going to be one place to go to uh, that will be easy to navigate, fast to navigate, where you can get a quote real quick, send us the artwork, and bing, bang, boom, done. Uh, so that's right in the process right now. We're literally in the middle of uh, coming up with some ideas on that. We're coming up with some drafts and we're uh, testing it. Uh, so uh, rolling through that at the moment. For those of you guys who have Net30 accounts, you'll be able to start making uh, payments online. So that's a good thing. I know that a lot of you guys have asked about that, being able to make payments online instead of having to call in to make payments on your Net30 account. So you'll be able to do that online very soon. We're getting there. Um, we have changed the way our website is hosted, actually, uh, and the way our website is written, and you should be seeing improvements. I saw a couple minutes ago somebody asked about they had issues with the online designer before. Is it faster? Yes, the online designer should be faster to use now. The whole website should be faster to use. We've made some speed improvements to that. And uh, again, we've updated all those application videos. Um, so uh, one of the other things um, that I saw you guys ask about, uh, somebody had asked about the backs of t-shirts, uh, being able to put a design on the back of a t-shirt in easy view. So uh, we know that that is a uh, feature that you guys are looking for. Um, and that's something that we're working with. Uh, we're working with our garment supplier. So uh, the garments that you see in Easy View when you design on the front of a garment, uh, those are the garments that we actually sell. Uh, and those come from our garment supplier. So we're actually in the middle of working with our garment supplier to be able to get photos of the backs of those t-shirts and sort of uh, come up with all of that. So we do know that you guys wanna be able to do that. And same thing with sleeves. So we recognize that that's, uh, and legs too. We recognize that that's something that you're looking for and we are aware and that is a uh, piece of feedback that we are still actively working on, I promise. Okay, all right. So, Boy, howdy, we went through a lot of information here. Um, so uh, Stephen's asking, when do those website enhancements begin? Uh, Stephen, the website enhancements already happened, actually. So uh, what you might need to do, Stephen, is you might need to go clear out your cache and clear out your cookies. Uh, so um, that might be what's preventing you from seeing the website enhancements. So clear your cache, clear your cookies, and you should see uh, all those website changes uh, and get to play with all that good stuff. Um, 
let's see, I saw a couple other questions here. Uh, since reflective only comes in silver, what other transfer item would be close uh, close to similar to it? Um, well, honestly, uh, the, the reflective silver is sort of a, a special beast in and of itself. Um, I, I don't really have any colors of yellow or white that would necessarily be reflective. Uh, unfortunately, the best you could really do would be to order, uh, you could order our neon yellow, which is a very bright yellow, but again, it's not really reflective is sort of the catch here. Um, the only product that I'm going to have that is truly actually reflective is the reflective silver. Um, you could always check out our glitter product. The glitter product is a little bit, a uh, little bit sort of reflective-y, sort of, kind of. Um, uh, I'm trying to compare your costs versus eco-solvent costs, softness, and differences. Uh, Nancy Jean, that is, uh, that's a webinar by itself. <laughs> um, I, I actually, I think we've done a webinar on that topic at some point. Um, so uh, comparing eco-solvent stuff to uh, screen printed transfers is sort of apples and oranges. Um, eco-solvent materials, don't get me wrong, the whole print cut media part of our industry has improved a lot over the years. But at the end of the day, the problem to me still is that a piece of vinyl doesn't feel as nice necessarily as uh, screen printed ink. So screen printed ink is still going to be softer. E even goof proof, which isn't the softest ink, even goof proof feels better to me than vinyl. So if you're talking about softness, I don't think it, I don't think they compare at all. I think the softness really goes with the screen print products here, especially if you get into the uh, ultra color stretch and the uh, aqua true and those, those products are softer than, you know, any, any, eco solvent product is ever going to be um, costs I, again it is kind of a rough topic because that depends on how you're paying for them if you're doing a per square inch thing or uh, you know you're doing um, uh, individual pieces that kind of thing so um, just wanted to share with you I, I don't have a great solid answer for that uh, honestly uh, my advice here Nancy Jean would be to give us a call and talk with one of our customer service reps uh, and they can sort of talk you through that in more detail <laughs> Thanks for that, Freddie. The audio not going in and out is also part of what's new in 2021. Thanks, Freddie. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm in a different building today. I, I had to travel someplace else to do the webinar. So I'm, gl I'm so glad to hear that it works better for you. At least I know now I got to go to a different building to do these webinars. Now. Let's see. Uh, Leah is asking, not offering banners anymore. No, Leah, we've discontinued banners. Um, unfortunately, it was a product that didn't really sell. Uh, our sister company, Stalls ID Direct, is still doing banners, though, Leah. So definitely hit up Stalls. Uh, they can help you out with the whole banner thing. Um, how long can I keep prints? Uh, prints, uh, any transfer, really, honestly, uh, it, transfers can last a long, long time if you store them correctly. You want to put transfers in an office environment. Uh, you don't want them to go in a place that gets damp or too hot. As long as it's in an office environment, transfers can last a long, long time. So uh, that's a good thing, too. Okay. All right, everybody. It looks like uh, it looks like we've got most of the questions answered. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. Thank you for coming. Uh, I appreciate everybody so much. If you have any questions or ideas or anything, please shoot us an email. Info at transfer uh, really do their best to help you guys out. Our customer service team loves you guys. Um, Hit our blog too. Our blog has won awards in our industry, so blog.transferexpress.com. Uh, and join us next month uh, for the next webinar. You can see the recording of this one at transferexpress.com slash webinars. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of your day.